so what's up today is my first video about Dairy of the Wimpy Kid. It's a good film and it's a very good book. But I'm gonna be reading it to you so wish me luck and this is my first video. First of all, let me get something straight. This is September and Tuesday. And this is Joe. Not a diary. I know what it says on the cover, but when Mum went out to buy this thing, I especially I, I especially taught her to get one that didn't say diary on it. Great. All I need is for some jerk to catch me carrying this book around and get the wrong idea. Here's the picture. The other thing I want to clear up right now, right away, is that this was mum's idea, not mine. But if she thinks I'm going to write down my feelings in here or whatever, she's crazy. So just don't accept me to be dear diary, this and dear diary and that. Have a look at the picture, guys. I'll be reading that and show you. The only reason I agreed to do this at all is because I figured later on which, on when I'm rich and famous. I'll have better things to do than answer people's stupid questions all day long. So this book is going to be coming handy. Gregory, tell us about your childhood. Were you always so smart and handsome? Here's my journal now, shoo shoo. Like I said, I'll be famous one day, but for now, I'm stuck in the middle school with a bunch of morons. Here's the picture. Moron. Let me just say for the record that I think middle school is the dumbest idea ever invented. You've got kids like me who haven't hit their growth spurt yet mixed in these gorillas who need to shave twice a day. This guy. And then they wonder why bullying is such a problem in middle school. If it was up to me, grade levels would be based on height, not age. But then again, I guess that would mean kids like Sherry's Gupta would still be in first grade. That's it. Just the second page. Here you go. Today is the first day of school and right now we're just waiting around for the teacher to hurry up and finish the seating chart. So I figured I might as well write in this book to pass the time. By the way, let me give you some good advice. On the first day of school, you've got to be real careful while you sit. You walk into the classroom and just plunk yourself down on any old desk and the next thing you know the teacher is saying, I hope you all like where you're sitting because these are your pound seats. It's this one, I think. No, it's this one. And he said, Gah. So in this class, I got stuck with Chris Hosey in front of me and Leo James at the back of me. Jason Bro came in late and always sat to, to my right, but luckily I stopped that from happening at the last second. Is this seat taken? Yes, yes. Here's the picture. Here you go. It's this one. Is the seat taken? Yes, yes. Next period, I just should, I just, I should just sit down in the middle of a bunch of hot girls as soon as I step in the room. But I guess if I do that, it just proves that I didn't learn anything from last year. Greg, will you please pass this note to Shelley? Why? Suddenly, hey, hey. Greg is a dork. That means Greg is a dork, so, and that one's the red message I'm going to talk about. Here you go. Man, I don't know what is up with these, with the girls these days. It used to be a whole lot simpler back then. Then in elementary school. The deal was that if you were the fastest running your class, you got all the girls. 
I mean, the fifth grade, the fastest runner was Rooney McCrory. Nowadays, it's a whole lot more complicated. Now it's about the rich kind of clothes you wear or how rich you are or if you have a cute butt or whatever. And kids like Rooney McCrory are scratching their heads wondering what the heck happened. The most probably boy in our grade is in Bruce, Bryce Anderson. The thing that really sticks in that I always have been into girls. But kids like Bryce have only come around in the last couple of years. Picture on that page. Uh, by the way, this one. I remember how Bryce used to act back in elementary school. Girls are stinky poos. Yeah, I don't think girls are stinky poos. But of course now I don't get any credit for sticking with the girls all this time. Like I said, Bryce is the most popular kid in our grade, so that leaves all the rest of us scrambling for the other spots. The best I can figure is that I'm I'm somewhere around 52, 52nd, 58th, and 53rd, most popular this year. But the good news is that I'm about to move up on one spot because Charlie Davis is above me and he's getting his braces next week. Pictures for this, and that's the braces one. Give me a read until page 10. So good luck. I tried to explain all this popularity stuff to my friend Raul, who's probably hovering right around the 150 mark, by the way, but I think it just goes on one ear out, out with the other hand. Wednesday. Today we had fires aired, so the first thing I did when I got outside was sneak off to the baseball court to see if cheese was still there. And sure enough, it was. That piece of cheese has been sitting on the court since last spring. I guess it must have dropped out of someone's sandwich or something. After a couple of days, the cheese started getting all mu Moldy and nasty. This is the first page one. Now the second page. The cheese should be this one. Then one day, and the kid called Darren Walsh touched the cheese with his finger, and that started the whole thing. The cheese touch. It basically like the cooties, but if you get the cheese touch, you stuck with it until you pass it on to someone else. The only way to protect yourself from the tear sign is to cross your fingers. This is the picture and that is the end of the video so bye